We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball comes your way next. Garrett Cole is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Stepping up now, Victor Reyes. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First offering on its way. Hung the slider there, but laid off for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. 2-0 to the Tigers' left fielder. And it's 2-1 to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. That accepted the designated hitter. Harold. Next to the plate for the Castro. Tigers, the D.H., Harold Castro. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now a throw over. Here comes the first pitch. Castro is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Cole. He's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V. And I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. A runner at first with no outs here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off speed. Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Great spot on that 2-2 two -two fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. The first baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters and it's strike one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Runner! Comes set and the 0 1. 
Pitch outside. The throw. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He he's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Miguel Cabrera goes down for out number two in the top half. Here's Jonathan Scope now as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Ball even at two and two. Reyes stands at second with two gone. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Tigers leave one. Tigers nothing. Yankees coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Zimmerman, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, I think the key for him is going to be locating strikes and forcing soft contact. He doesn't have dominant stuff compared to some other guys, but if he executes, he can still be very effective. We'll see how he does. Here's Brett Gardner now, and he really he thrives in the batter's here. box here at home. Well, Something to keep an eye on in this one. Gardner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. And he lays off there 1 0. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, they come into game two of this series riding high. A huge one run victory yesterday, able to do the little things to put them over the top. Hopefully, that leads to some momentum in game two. Right to him. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. Here's Miguel Andujar now. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Oh, one's the count. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Pops this one up. Cabrera has a play, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one.
first pitch of the at bat. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We are still scoreless. Back now for the second inning in the Bronx, and here's Heidi Watney with an update on the weather. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. All right, Heidi, thanks. We'll hope for the best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these players are probably going to be impacted by this weather at least a little. Yeah, Maddie, 100% it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. They're going to have to maybe gather themselves to get that extra grip on the baseball. But from a position player standpoint, you just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's gone four for nine. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So a good start to the inning for the Tigers as their leadoff hitters on base. That is good. The catcher. Off the line. Digging in, Austin Romine, runner at first to start the inning, and Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. From the stretch. Nobody out, runner on first. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its nope. way. Can't get him to chase. Nope. It's one and two. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back, and this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And the run will score as the Tigers are off to a 1-0 lead. When this thing left as bad, I started That's thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry no, enough, but it does one-hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Up next steps Kristen Stewart as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. A runner at second, nobody out. 
And look out as that one ran in and got him. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there, and I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. Next up for Detroit, number 28. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First delivery to him on the way. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Looking at his career totals, Goodrum hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. That's not an at-bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. The 2-1 will not catch the zone, ball three. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Stanton comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. The left field of the 22, Victor Reyes. At the plate, Victor Reyes. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. The 0 1 offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Two men are on with two men out. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Tigers strike for a run on this RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Detroit. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez. And they'll need him to get something going here. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit.
Giancarlo Stanton now and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball, that's inside. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Two balls and no strikes, the count to Stanton. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. 3 and 0 oh now. No strike. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I gotta believe he's gonna be way more aggressive right here. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Not shortstop. Tyler. Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And there's ball one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Now the 2 1 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And no one will get this one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. I got three and two. Gio Urshela is on deck. Three-two pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Maben moving in. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting seven, the third baseman, number 29. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gio Urshela. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. First delivery to him on the way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Urshela has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And he misses two and one. Two out, nobody on. Smoked on the ground, left side. A dive, he's got it. What a play. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this.
all set for the start of the inning. So coming to the plate, Harold Castro. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. It's too high, ball two. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one, he blew right now by him. Second one, the timing first. was on point. And he was able to get a hit. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. And that misses ball one. Ball one, no strike. That's the ball. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Two balls and a strike to the Tigers' first baseman. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. One gone here in the Detroit third. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Scope brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Not close. It's 2 0. Scope, who's nicknamed Mamba, he's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. 3 0 to him now. From the belt, the pitch. And that's over three and one. Now a fastball swung on and missed and it's full three and two. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes and you can occasionally do damage with them. But he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Here's Cameron Mabin now. High in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for Detroit. Home half of the third coming up. 
tied at one. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. All right, Heidi, thank you. First pitch of the at-bat. And a slider tails outside for ball one. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Still without a home run and seven driven in. Now the 1-0. Yeah. Two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And the count will be full. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. 3-2 pitch. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The center fielder, number 11. So a runner on first with one out now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. From the belt, the pitch. Fouled away. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Yeah, and I can speak from experience, and I can tell you, on a night like this, it's tough to get a good grip on the ball. It's a little frigid out there, and he might have lost a little bit of feeling in his fingers. Never easy to make a good throw when that's the case. So runners at first and second here with one away. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. 
Now it's 2-0. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Three and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone, so you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. It's coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. The 0-1 on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0-2. Judge, who fittingly gets the nickname All Rise. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about eye level, but it's out number two instead. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The set and the 1-0. Oh, Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Boom goes the dynamite. So one swing and he unloads the bases on that one. His second of the game and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Oh, man, when he got the second out, I thought he might come out of this unscathed. But after that towering grand slam, he's about as scathed as you can get. Is that a word? Uh, who cares? It is now. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Four runs here in this half inning. And he lays off for ball one. Boy, his pitch count is really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Zimmerman's ready. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. And... He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. That's a ball. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning is that misses for ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. 
at the plate, Tyler Wayne. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Here's a high pop up. Candelario is under it, and that retires the side. But one more look at the big blow in the inning for the Yankees a grand slam home run. We played three full. It's 5 1 Yanks. Standing in, Austin Romine. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Boy that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that hey they can do something with that but most of the time you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, Kristen Stewart. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Two home runs, nine driven in. Here comes the 0 1. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A ground ball sent back up the middle. He's right there. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. Shortstop. Nico Goodrow. Digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Goodrum, 28 years old. He was taken in the second round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're down here five to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've obviously had a lot of success in terms of pushing across runs. And a big part of that, in his opinion, has been their pitch selection. 
In this game, they've swung at pitches outside of the strike zone less than 15% of the time, meaning the vast majority of their swings has been at pitches that they're more likely to handle and hit hard. All right, thanks, Heidi. Number 29. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's the pitch. Blind to shortstop, and there's one away. Now back, first baseman, Mike Four. Now at the plate, Mike Ford comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Ball. Now the 1-0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The 1-1 one, one home. Taken strike two. Nope. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Five one our score as we play the fourth here. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Oh and one here it comes swung on and missed that strike two some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up ready on oh and two hops this one up and that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit ah, but the throw is well up the line and he scores easily. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Yvonne Nova answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. So here's the veteran Brett Gartner as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. He waits. Now the pitch. 
Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. But well, he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. Now batter, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He's set. Here it comes takes this the other way to right and the Bombers have it going here as this is also good for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. No right fielder. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count make the pitcher waste a few pitches but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch it's hard not to go after it and that's just what he does. He jumped all over. Here's big Aaron Judge. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Okay. The 1 0 home he is looked at for the first strike. Runners at second and third with two gone. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Ready on one and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. The Yankees forced to settle for one. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Yankees lead it six to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Thank you, Heidi. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Jimer Candelario stands in as he looks at ball one here. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The 1 0 home is taken for oh, ball two. Man. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. The 2 1. Is taken for strike two. Now a slider well off the plate. An easy take there. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth the inning. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Victor Reyes. He was hunched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. 
I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Urshela is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Up next for the Tigers, the designated hitter, Harold Castro. Digging in, Harold Castro. Last time through was a base hit. Set and the pitch. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 0. And he misses again, 2 0. Comes set, now the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. The 2 1 home. The bouncer to the left side, and that gets through for a one out base hit. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away, batter's able to keep his hands inside, not try and do too much, and just force feet a single. Settling in now, Miguel Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch on its way. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Yep, that ball went Outside for a ball, one and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Liner towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. One strike now from Cole. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Fouled off. The one two. <laughs> Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. To the plate now, Cameron Maben. And he puts it on the ground to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. A runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. That makes it a 6-2 to two game. Now I'm not sure if this happened or not, but sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance, and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like, to me, he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. So the bases are loaded here, two men gone, and up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. 
looking to minimize the damage here. Right side hit hard. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third. So one run is in and the bases stay loaded with two away. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Into the box, Kristen Stewart, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Stanton has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead this one six to three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. A little bit of breathing room here as they lead by three, but the big part of that, go back to this guy's last at bat when he hit that big grand slam. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. In the air, down the line, and left. Reyes moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Now batting left fielder, John Carlo Ready for another chance, John Carlo Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball a bit too low here it's ball one both teams with six hits so far high and deep to left this one's got plenty of distance boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number nine on the year as it is now seven to three. So that was the third home run for these guys today. d -Row, some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that battle. Into the box now, Tyler Wade, as he rips it on the ground to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now that And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm, nicely done. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Into center field, line drive base hit. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate. But tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. At the plate, Mike Ford, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Set with the 0 and 1. And he takes this one high, 1 and 1.
hit back up the middle. And it's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, D.J. LeMay here as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Hard hit ball to second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now a four run lead at 7 to 3. Now batting, Nico Goodrum. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Owen won the count. The pitch. And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Yeah, Matty, I think one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up. And D Row, if you're the offense right now, you're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, usually the starting pitcher doesn't get to see the lineup three times through. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a move made to the bullpen here. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And it's two balls and two strikes now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Looking to send him packing again. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. And that at bat will put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the posing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Digging in to try it again, Jimer Candelario. He's ready. Here's the first offering. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And there's one down now. The left field, number 22, Victor Reyes. 
ready once again Victor Reyes his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory yeah he's got to make an adjustment you could tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands he's got a lot of frustration he's gripping the bat too tight he needs to relax take a deep breath and have a productive AB right here the guy in the mound is having one heck of a night but the downside of that if you're going to strike out a lot of guys your pitch count is going to be high so this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end and he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one and this one's up around the eyes two and one it's one thing to get hit around but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes every pitcher's been there but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable three and one to him now runner at second here with one man out too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in there. Base hit. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a seven to four contest. Up next for the hey, D. I think we got a case right now. This team, they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs and it looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired, going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Chad Green enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Prior to the at bat, a check on first and a dive, but he's back in there. Stepping in now, Harold Castro pitches a cold strike to throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Green, 28 years old. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this pitch is lined softly here to the right side. Foul. Softly on a line to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead it 7-4. to four. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Brett Gardner. The set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. First pitch of the at-bat. 
Fastball in there for a called strike. And he takes strike two. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. That misses, and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. As we take another look here, you can see it's a two-seam fastball running away from him at the plate. So he does the smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Stepping into the box, Aaron Judge. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. A bouncer up the middle, reined in, and there's out number two. Now batting, the catcher, Gary. Gary Sanchez will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Seven runs, ten hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the belt kicks and deals. Two balls, two strikes. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. The Yanks leave one. They hold a seven to four lead. Digging in and looking for more, Miguel Cabrera. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone.
Ready with the 0-1. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number eight. Second base, Jonathan Scope. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Scope is retired, two down now. So two outs now here in the Detroit half of the seventh. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Mabin. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Whoa, that A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Four runs, seven hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And the pitch. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2-1. Got to love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Hit hard but foul. A full count, three and two to the Tigers center fielder. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three two count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The batter, the catcher, Austin Romine. Next for the Tigers, Austin Romine. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch on its way. Pitch out. Nothing doing. a look over to first and the runner back easily two out with the man at first and again a throw no, keeping okay. particularly close tabs on him right. and a fastball in there for a strike one and one Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. To 
toward second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't Wait, come around no. to haunt him as that ends the inning. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Yankees are out in front, 7-4. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One and two now, as that one's fouled off. And that misses two and two. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. The 2-2. Two -two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a fastball down below the knees. Got him swinging in the dirt. Romine corrals it. The throw to first is in time. One down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Riding in once again, Tyler Wade. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Change up a little bit inside, 1 0. Oh. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. He doesn't look like the same reliever right now, but listen, this is his fourth inning of work. And there are very many relievers that can go four plus innings and be rock solid all the way through. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Hey. Two and two. I always felt though too you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three times in a row, you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. Hold high in the air out to right field. Stewart is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The batter, number 29. So digging in now, Gio Urshela. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Count one and oh. The one oh. Down the left field line and deep, and that's going to land foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line towards center field, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. The batter, the first baseman, Mike Four. Into the box, Mike Ford. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Maven is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Yankees. They hold a 7 to 4 lead. Adam Ottavino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Riding into the box, Kristen Stewart. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Number 14. From the stretch. Eight. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Now the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Now the pitch. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Here comes Gardner. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batter, the shortstop, Nico Goodrum. So stepping in, Nico Goodrum. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. This is skied out toward right. Judge is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting the third baseman, Jamer Candelario. In now, Jimer Candelario. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. The pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Now the pitch. To two and two now. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Three and two. Victor Reyes would be next. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They're on the short end of a 7 4 score. But Farmer is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Buck Farmer.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMahieu. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. First offering on its way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Dero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else, but on that bump right now, this has the makings of being a long game. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Hard hit toward the hole. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack. Kept his hands inside the ball and tipped with the pitcher gave. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A one pitch on its way. One and one. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. Runner takes the turn at second on his way to third. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. At the plate, Aaron Judge. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. A swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. The Yanks leave one. They hold a 7 to 4 lead. Tommy Kingley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. All set to start the ninth in this one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Victor Reyes. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now, the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take now a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can That's see, he's up near the top, currently sixth in the AL in that category. Digging in now, Harold Castro. He's two for four in the ballgame.
here comes the first pitch. Kainley, 30 years of age. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Nope. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw on to first to be in time, and now the Tigers are down to their final out. Now batting, the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Striding in, Miguel Cabrera, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Two balls and two strikes now. Last breath for the Tigers. Got him. Detroit. Good night. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Nice job. 7 to 4 is the final score in tonight's game. The New York Yankees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Garrett Cole earned his fifth win of the year. Jordan Zimmerman couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Tommy Kingley wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.